。英国利物浦大学地球物理学教授 Dr. John Shaw， 一九七一年毕业于英国利物浦大学物理学系，一九七四年于利物浦大学得到地球物理学博士学位。佢专门研究地球嘅地磁 （geomagnetism）、古地磁 a c u m a g n e t i s m 古气候 p a l a e o c l i m a t e 以及仪器仪表 （instrumentation） 嘅技术。John Shaw 博士喺以下嘅影片指出，喺过去三百年，地球嘅磁场一直喺度减弱，因为每当人类制造陶瓷制品时，都记录咗喺烧制陶瓷时嘅地球磁场强弱。就喺佢研究过去三百年嘅陶瓷制品时，发现地球磁场正在急速减弱。Evidence of that decline has come from a surprising source. People have been making pottery for thousands of years. Archaeologists study pots to learn about ancient cultures, but these vessels have another story to tell. Pottery acts just like a magnetic tape recorder. It records the Earth's magnetic field when the pottery is first made. An ancient pot is a magnetic time capsule. John Shaw has learned how to extract from it a precise measurement of the strength of the magnetic field as it was in antiquity. Like volcanic rock, clay contains tiny pieces of an iron-based mineral called magnetite. At the microscopic level, magnetite contains lots of distinct magnetic regions. In effect, tiny magnets. But in raw clay. These microscopic magnets all point in different directions, so they fail to create an overall magnetic field. That means a lump of clay on the potter's wheel is not itself magnetic, not yet anyway. Now the interesting part is when the pot's fired. The intense heat in the kiln erases all the magnetic regions. But as the pot begins to cool, new magnetic regions form in the magnetite, and as the regions reform, they align with the Earth's magnetic field, just like compass needles. With millions of tiny magnets all pointing in the same general direction, the pot itself becomes slightly magnetic. Once it has cooled. The magnetism is locked in. So, if we take an ancient pot like this one, which is from Peru, when it cooled for the first time, it cooled in the Earth's ancient magnetic field, and it became magnetized in that field. And of course, if the field is very strong, then the pot is strongly magnetized, and if the field is very weak, then the pot is weakly magnetized. By examining pottery from prehistory to modern times, John has discovered just how dramatically the field has changed in the last few centuries. When we plot the results from the ceramics, this is what we see: gentle changes as we come forward in time over 12,000 years, a gentle rise, and then a rapid fall as we come towards the present day. The rate of change is higher over the last 300 years than it has been for any time in the past 5,000. Going from a strong field down to a weak field, and it's doing it very quickly. In 300 years, the field has fallen 10 percent, and the rate of decline is increasing. In just a few centuries, it could be gone altogether. 尤华牧师就此作出分析，呢一种磁场急速减弱嘅现象。刚好代表地球正步向发生持续转移嘅边缘，亦因而引致地球出现地轴转移同自转方向转向嘅灾难式转变。